This is the Black Diamond rechargeable headlamp. It's the Spot R 400 lumens. Let's get some basic information on this to begin with. You can see its width, its length. These are inch segments, by the way. It weighs about two and a half ounces. We take a look at the box. You can see some of the basic specifications on it. Your brightness, your distance at those brightnesses, and the amount of runtime at those brightnesses. So if you had it on low, you're somewhere around 225 hours. It's an IP67 waterproof rating, which means it can survive if it's submersed one meter underwater for 30 minutes. I haven't had a chance to do a lot of testing with this, but in light testing, very light usage. I like it. It's small, it's light, it's comfortable. As long as you're not using the battery on full strength, you get a lot of good battery life out of it. It does have a battery meter right there, so you can see where your battery's at. Pretty cool. And the way this thing works, you push this larger button just to turn it on. Okay, now we've got it. I'm trying not to blind you with the... Uh, with the light right in the camera. And then the small button will cycle through the different functions of the lights. So spotlight, floodlight, red light, back to your spotlight. If you want to increase or decrease the brightness of this light, when you hold the button down, that's gonna go to max. And now you can see it starting to dim. When you hit the peak of the, of the brightness, it'll give you an indicator there. Then it'll show you that it's going back down so like that, that's barely on. And now if I were to cut the light off and cut it back on, it's going to remember that setting. And it does it with each of the three lights. So the next light over may be at a different setting. So if I click it over here, you can see how bright that is. So I hold this and I can dim it down. And it's going to remember that setting. Same thing with the red. I can dim that down. And it's going to remember those settings. So if I cut it off, cut it back on, there it is. Another feature this has is it'll have a strobe light on any of these three lights. Two presses of this button and then cycle through. If you want to go to an SOS function, you tap the side button. You see how the pattern changed there for the strobe. And then you can use the small button and you can cycle that through your different lights. So you can have it on the big one, the small one, and then the red one simply just turn it off. This particular headlamp does not have a ratcheting type movement here. Some of them have like a little ratcheting type. This one's just held in there with tension. It makes me wonder how over time, if you're consistently moving this in and out and in and out, will that start to wear a little bit where the tension doesn't hold the headlamp exactly where it needs to be? Time will tell that. Here's an inexpensive Harbor Freight headlamp, which I'll do an independent review on this one because this is actually a pretty cool little light too. You can kind of see size wise, in the facial area here, they're very similar in terms of their size. They're very similar on the thickness. Now this one does taper down on the end here, but at its thickest part, it's basically the exact same thickness. Nice headband, comfortable. Now this writing on the side here, it is reflective. This is a um, rechargeable battery only. The port is right here. So you open it up and there's your port. It is not dual power. But so far, a really nice little light, good features, nice and bright. I'll add some uh, nighttime feature in here so you can see the, the brightness and I'll compare it with this one and kind of get an idea between the two. I don't ever feel that the camera at nighttime does them justice, but we'll do it nonetheless so we can at least see the difference. This button right here also serves as an instant bright. Yeah, you can see that. Let me do that again. So if you push it once, it'll go back to your original setting, wherever that was. And I, right now I have it at the dimmest setting. And if all of a sudden you feel like you need to increase the intensity and you want to do it very quickly, you just tap that and it goes to the brightest setting, tap it again, and it goes back to your wherever your last setting was. 